I am Anil Kumar and let me share another question from a quiz 2015 rate of change advanced functions unit 2. This question is about population growth rate and we will see what kind of mistake you can avoid to get full marks. The question here is the population of a town is modeled by P of t equals to 40,000 times 1.05 to the power of t where t is the number of years after 2005. Estimate the instantaneous rate of change in the population in 2010. Now to solve this question you can use different methods. One of the best method is we can use the centered interval. right? So if you use the centered interval we can consider time from since we have to go 2010 from 25 so that is after five years right so the time interval we can consider on either side of five years which will be let us say 4.999 or from 5.001 so that interval will give us the instantaneous rate of change at t equals to 5 why t equals to 5 since 2010 I mean take away 25 is 5 got it so when we are trying to estimate instantaneous rate of change in population 2010 it'd be 5 got it don't use 2010 that could also be an error right so once we have this you can use the formula that is p of 5.001 take away P of 4.999 divided by 5.001 minus 4.999, right? That gives you the instantaneous rate of change at 5, correct? Now, you can use your calculator. Substitute 5.001 for T. Calculate your value. Now, once you calculate this value, you will get, let me write down a value here, so you calculate, right? The idea is what mistakes we should not do. Once you calculate, you get value which is approximately 2490.8, something like that, right? So if, at this stage, if you write 2490.8 as your answer, that is not quite right. Why? It says the population of the town is modeled by this, where t is number of years. Estimate instantaneous rate of change in population in 2010. So what is this rate of change? So rate of change is in persons per year, right? So that is the unit. But you cannot have it in decimals. That is the whole idea. And therefore, you should round it. And therefore, the correct answer which you should write in such a case should be equal to rounded, right? So it make it 2491 persons per year. So that could cost you 0.5 marks. So avoid losing those marks. That's the whole idea of this particular video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.